Hey everyone, I'm Silent Gray and I am back for another video. Finally, I know this is long overdue and I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, but um, like I think I said the last two videos I've uploaded, um, I'm going to try to get better at uploading. Um, if you can't tell, my background is completely different from before uh, because we actually moved um, about two and a half weeks ago, so we've been settling in. Um, and again, if you don't know, I do run an in-home daycare and I do vinyl, so my businesses have been keeping me extremely busy. Um, again, there's no excuses for not uploading, but like I said, I am back and I am going to do better with that. With that being said, I do want to introduce um, what this video is going to be. Um, if you do watch my videos or if you do know me personally, you know I have three children and you know that I love Children's Place. I love shopping their clearance. Um, they typically, once a month, they do like a clearance sale where it's like 70 to 80% off all clearance items. And I typically can find them cute little graphic t-shirts and um, graphic leggings, flip-flops, um, tank tops, onesies, anything for my children for like $2.50, $1.99. And I like to stock up. Um, sometimes if it's closer to Christmas or their birthdays, I just put them away until, until their birthday or Christmas. That way it's an extra gift. Um, like now it's the middle of summer. Their birthdays have already passed at the beginning of the year and Christmas is not for another um, five months. So anything I order during the summer is typically um, free game and they get it and they can wear it next time we go somewhere or next time we have, um, you know, go somewhere I have something to do. Um, they can wear it. So it's more of a just because. Um, but I did order a few items in the past week, and Children's Place is fairly quick with their shipping, so I finally have all the items in. Not a big haul at all, but I do want to show you what I got and let you know what I'm liking right now. Okay, so I do also want to give a few tips at shopping with Children's Place um, because I am a mom of three. Um... I'm always pinching, always looking for deals, always looking for sales, always looking for coupons, codes, tips, anything like that. Um, so my tip with Children's Place to be is never, ever, 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 ever buy full price from Children's Place website. Um, first of all, there will be very, very, it'll be very rare, uh, but at times the website will be full price except for clearance, obviously. Um, so everything would be $25 for a dress and, you know, $35 for a pair of boots. So everything is m more expensive, uh, especially when you have multiple children, that's not in the budget. Um, so I highly suggest waiting, um, for a couple days before you order something unless you necessarily have to have it at that moment that's fine um, but children's place website is almost I'm sorry almost always 40 or 50 percent off the entire website all the time I get emails multiple times a day saying website 50% off until Friday website 50% off until Sunday and the website is always 50% off so do not buy full price do not whatever you do I've never bought nothing from children's place full price at all um, another thing is the clearance um, will typically drop it is and they'll send you an email and say it's 50% off all clearance or 40 to 60% off or even sometimes you'll get 50 to 70 I will not shop their clearance until it says 60 to 80% off now when it says 50 to 70 I do check because there are typically items that are a little more popular that are going to go before it even gets to 80 um, so those are the times I buy it sometimes you'll miss it and they'll restock and then it'll come back a couple weeks later at 80% off um, so you just got to kind of I guess learn the website what's best for you. I, t I typically do not buy any um, t-shirts, uh, tank tops, onesies, anything until the website, the clearance is 60 to 80 percent off. That's when I will buy those items because typically t-shirts, onesies, tank tops, those items are still going to be there. Now if you're looking for shoes, rompers, dresses, um, even jeans and shorts, hats, little accessories like that. When it says 50 to 70, if it's a good enough deal for you, I suggest ordering it then because those items go a lot quicker than the shirts do. Another tip is if you do not have a children's place credit card or rewards card, I highly suggest getting that. Um, I typically use my children's place credit card to order online because I get double points and then um, 
when I order online, get my double points. I then immediately, once I go in store within the next few days, I just pay that balance completely off. So it's like I had the cash anyways. Um, but by using my card, I get double points. Every 100 points you get, you get a $5 coupon. So it's definitely worth getting the points. Now, tip their point system is each dollar you spend is one point. So you spend $100 you get 100 points, you get a $5 coupon. But if you're using your reward, sorry, your credit card, um, children's place credit card, to make these orders, you get double the points. So each dollar you spend is two points, so all you have to do now is spend $50 and you get a $5 coupon. So I typically, um, I, I very rarely order $50 worth of stuff at one time um, because like I said, I shop clearance. Now during Christmas, I typically rank those coupons in because I'm spending back to back. Um, but with Children's Place, I typically spend $15 to $20 each time I order online. And then once I get closer to my balance, I completely pay it off and back at zero. And I just use my credit card just to get those points because those are extremely important to me because those points add up. So um, I'm just trying to think of any more tips I do have. Um, again, and every time you place an order, this is literally every time they've always sent me an email with this coupon. Um, anytime you order, they will send you a thank you email. I believe it is 24 hours after your order ships. Um, they will send you an email that says thank you for shopping with us. And it would be a $10 coupon off of a $40 purchase. Which sometimes I use those, sometimes I don't. But I shop so frequently there that I get so many. I typically can't use them all before they expire. Uh, I think they typically hold about a month's um, value before they expire. So you have typically a month to make another $40 dollar purchase to use your ten dollar off coupon um and again with the five dollar coupon i was speaking about a little earlier in this video um where you get you get all your points and then you get a five dollar off coupon that five dollars is off any amount you can spend five dollars and use your coupon and get the complete order free another amazing thing about childrensplace.com is they have free shipping every single day no minimum balance you can go onto the clearance and order a $1.99 t-shirt and it will ship for free their shipping is super duper quick I believe they advertise on the website five to ten business days um, but I think the longest it's ever took for Children's Place is five days. I typically see my orders within about three days. So they're very quick. It's free shipping, no minimum. Okay, enough of me rambling on. If I think of any more tips or tricks as I'm going through this haul, I will let you guys know because like I said, I have three children and any money pinching tips I have for you, especially for Children's Place because they have such good quality clothes. Um, they are very, very inexpensive and my children love them. So let's go ahead and jump in this haul finally and let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so I have two different um, packages that I got from, from two different times I ordered. I do have the um, receipt sheets in front of me so I can tell you guys what I paid for each of these items um, and let you know if I did use any coupons or was a straight clearance. So um, the first one I have, let's see, we're going to go in order what's on there. Okay, so one of the first items on the first um, list is just this very cute um, collared button-up. It is a complete button-up all the way around. Um, this is a 2T for my youngest son. Um, he's more in a... Um, He's in this awkward stage where he's like in a 1824. Um, he can wear a straight 18 in certain clothes. Um, in other clothes, he needs a 24. Um, but I've been making, trying to make sure I buy all his new clothes in 2T because that is his next size up. So that way he does still have time to wear those because he's been in 1824 for quite a long time. But here is the little button up and it has little iguanas with the little hats on it. And I just thought that was so stinking cute. Um, this originally was $14.95 for this shirt. Um, I can tell you now, I would never, ever, ever spend $15 for a white button-up for my two-year-old. Um, even if it was for, um, my oldest son. No, $15 for one button-up is too much for me. I'm very, very cheap. 
so I like to <laughs> clearance shop and um, look around. So I actually paid two dollars and forty three cents for this shirt. Again, it was originally fifteen dollars. So I think that is a complete steal. Um, the next thing I got is also for my youngest Bentley, um, and this is a romper two pack. So I got two in the pack. I'm going to show you guys, and then I will tell you how much I paid for those. Let's see. And these are in 1824 because Children's Place does not sell rumpers in 2T. So thank God you can still wear an 1824. Um, and this is just the first one. And it just says, ladies, I've arrived. And it is red. And the second one is, again, still um, 1824 because it is a two-pack. And it just has the cars on it. I just love rompers on my youngest. They're super cute and um, easy for him to play around in. And so that was a two pack. So for both of those together, I paid $6.08. Let me see what the uh, retail price was. Um, I know the tag is on one of these. Let's see. Okay, so the retail price was $29.95. So actually $30 for both of these together. $30. My son is probably going to wear these once, maybe twice, before I uh, donate them or try to sell them on, um, you know, Marketplace. And again, so for 30 bucks is retail price, and I only paid $6.08 for both of those items. Actually not open, uploading it until Sunday morning, afternoon-ish, um, because I have two items in here that goes in my husband's father day. Father's Day um, basket for me and the kids so I didn't want to upload this early because I didn't want him um, to see this just in case I'm not sure even if he watches my videos but just in case we're going to uh, not upload this until Sunday after he gets his gift um, but the next item is actually a shirt from them if you did not know Children's Place does sell matching family shirts um, dad and son matching t-shirts mom and daughter matching t-shirts and mom and daughter um, what is it called? mom and daughter um, dresses and actually during the holiday season as in Christmas season they actually sell family matching Christmas pajamas it's so 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 wonderful um, but yeah and I actually got my husband this shirt me and the kids picked it out it's just a white t-shirt and it says super dad because that is most definitely what my husband is. He is a super father of three of our beautiful children. And I am super appreciative of him. Um, I got this in a size large. And this retailed for $19.50. So $20 for this t-shirt. Which I think typically is pretty averagely priced for men's graphic t-shirts. Um, even though I would never pay that price. I always clearance shop again. Um, and I actually only paid $3.90. Five cents for this shirt so whoa I think that's a steal and we're going to move on to the next item the next item is for my oldest son mr. TJ um, and I got this in a size uh, let's see 14 he is currently in a 10 12 but again I am transitioning him into a 14 because that is his next size and I want to make sure he has time to wear these items. Um, it's just this t-shirt that says game over error um, because he really is into uh, video games and stuff of that nature. Um, so I think that was really cute. He liked it. Um, that retailed for $10.50 and I paid a dollar sixty one. So I think that is a wonderful deal um, and he loves it to death. Um, they're kind of mad I told them they had to wait to wear these items um, because I did need to do this haul because we got these in probably a couple days ago and I'm just now getting to this um, but the next item again is for TJ and again I got it in size 14 um, if they have something that is super cute um, that he can wear at that moment that's in season um, if they don't have the next size up available, I will get their current size. That way they can still wear it. Because again, I typically do not pay more than $2 for t um, graphic t-shirts because I do shop clearance. Um, but this one is just this very beautiful blue. That's why I picked it out. And it has a T-Rex eating a taco shirt. Um, and this shirt also retailed for $10. Sorry, $10.50, $10.50, not $10.95. Um, $10.50, and I paid 
$1.62. So, very good clearance shopper. Uh, the next item is for Mr. Bentley, my youngest son, again. And this one is a t-shirt. Um, I just want to let you guys know now, I would never buy either one of my boys any white shirts, any white pants, any white anything, unless I paid less than $2 for it. That's just because it'll be ruined and I'll never see it again. If they only wear it one time and I get pictures in the, of them in it before it's ruined, we're good. It's not play clothes. We're all good. Um, but I did get Bitly. This super cute shirt, my dad, other dads, um, typically, um, with these, uh, with Children's Place graphic shirts, I always get our youngest cute little shirts that says something about mama, mama this, mama that. And so I decided to switch it up and get him a My Dad, Other Dads t-shirt because I don't typically get our kids things that say dad because I'm selfish. But, <laughs> got him one there. Okay, and I'm down to my last two items for the first package, and then I have one other package to go ahead and show you guys. Um, but the next item is for my beautiful oldest, um, Miss Chardé. Um, I typically let her pick her own t-shirts because she's 11. It gives her a chance to show her independence. Um, and I, I know um, being a young girl, you want to pick your own clothes. You like mommy helping you. You like mommy picking them out for you cool but there are times where you don't like what mommy picks and I don't want to waste any money because I don't want to buy something she doesn't like um, and it's extremely hard um, to resell for the price I paid for it um, so with that being said I usually let her pick her own Bentley and TJ don't mind mommy picking theirs they don't TJ actually wants me to pick his clothes to wear every day so nothing new it's a girl thing they're a little more independent um, but I did let her pick her shirt and she picked this one I thought it was cuper, cuper, super cute um, that she decided to pick something to do with this sister because she does love her brothers. Um, this shirt retailed for $10.50 and I paid $2.13. Um, so about 50 cents more than the boy shirts. Uh, but she keeps up with her clothes so I don't have to worry about that. Even white shirts which is the next item. Um, which is the final item for this um, package that I got in. Uh, she also picked this one. And again, I do get her a size bigger than what she wears now. A llama unicorn, she picked this one out. Even this shirt, she will take extremely good care of, even though it is white. Um, so I don't mind paying a little bit more for her to have white clothes. Um, again, this is a, this is $10.50 for the shirt. And again, I paid $2.13 for that. Uh, so that is everything in that first package. I'm going to put this receipt up here. And I'm going to show you guys the few items I have in this package. The next package is not that much. I think that goes with that. Let's see. Okay, so the next receipt. The next items were supposed to be two different packages because I ordered one item on its own, but I did order it the same day. So I'm assuming since I ordered it the same day, just at a different time, they just went ahead and threw both of those items um, in the package together. I don't mind. Go for it. Have fun. You guys do free shipping anyways. Whatever. Just save you guys a few dollars. I don't mind. Uh, but this was the item that was supposed to be by itself. Sharday is so into children's place skirts right now. It is a skirt, but they do come with shorts under it. I believe this is made the same way. Yes, it is. Um, she's totally into those right now. Um, she has a blue one with purple flowers and a black one. Um, so I'm just trying to experiment and get her more because she's really into skirts right now, which I love because when I was at her age, I was super into skirts and knee highs and cute little shirts and headbands. So I love it. I love it to death. Um, but I did get her this one. It is white with the pink and purple unicorns. She absolutely loves unicorns. And like I said, there are shorts under that. You can't go wrong. Um, she is 11, so she doesn't know how to sit. But hey, sometimes you fall, sometimes you forget. And this is wonderful. Um, let's see the retail pricing of this. Retail pricing was $14.95. And obviously, I didn't pay that. Um, for that item, I actually paid $4.99. Boom. So yeah, I hope my address didn't show. But that's okay um so that's for that receipt um and then i just have three more items left um so i'm going to tell a quick story behind this um my daughter is 11 years old she will be starting sixth grade in the fall 
Um, me and her father did not allow her to wear purses um, up until this point um, because we feel like she's too young and it's uh, inappropriate. She has no reason um, to carry a purse. I know a lot of people would disagree with that, um, but I grew up the same way. My mom didn't let us wear purses until we were in middle school uh, just because she wanted us to stay young as long as possible. Again, we didn't have any reason to do that. I wasn't personally allowed to carry a purse until I was um, a woman starting my cycle in the sixth grade. So once I started the sixth grade, I was allowed to carry a purse to keep my items in, my chapsticks, extra pen or pencils, little things like that. Um, so me and her father did go ahead and get her her first purse from us. Um, we do have a few rules with it. It has to be a crossbody, very small bag, nothing big. Um, and me and daddy are allowed to check it out any time. Uh, but we did go ahead and get her her first little purse. And this is just her style all day. So it is crossbody, just like me and daddy told her has to be. Has the cute stinking emojis on it inside. Super cute holographic. I love this. I'm actually a little jealous. Um, if it did have these emojis on the front, I would have got myself one. Um, but let's see. Woo. This retailed for $19.95. Um. I won't even spend twenty dollars on a purse for myself, let alone my eleven-year-old daughter. So we all know I did not pay that price for that bag. Um, again, it will retail for nineteen ninety-five, and I paid three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Super steal, um, and that is a perfect example with the. Uh, sorry. It's not focusing with the children's place clearance um, when I ordered that I ordered it when it was um, 60 to 80 percent off so that was I believe 75 percent off and it was $3.99 $20 originally um, but literally the next day I checked clearance again just to see if they had anything else and the purse jumped back up to $7.99 so if you see accessory items like that like I did say on clearance and it's a price you are willing to pay buy it it's either going to sell out or go back up that's just how they are um, but anyways, I have two items left. I want to quickly get through this. Um, the next item is another shirt for my husband's uh, Father's Day basket for me and the kids. And I got it in a size large again. And it is a gray shirt that says King of Everything because he is King of Everything and we love him to death. Um, but that retailed for $19.50. And I didn't pay that. Um, I paid $4.87 for that shirt. So super steal, super steal. Um, and he's getting um, out of his shell a little more, out of his work life, life a little more. And he's starting to want to wear dress down clothes to what I used to call it when I was in school, um, jeans and t-shirts. So I definitely love it. I definitely love giving, getting him cute little graphic shirts for him to wear with his um, blue jeans and stuff. So I love it. Um, again, the last item I got is for my son TJ because he's super cool and I let him pick this out, but I got him a cute little snapback that says gamer mode on. It is a snapback and again, this is from Children's Place. Um, this retailed for $12.95 and I paid $3.23. So... Um, that is it for this haul. Um, I hope you guys appreciate, um, appreciate, wow, very rude, silent. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope, um, that you guys do take my tips and tricks in. Um, if you guys like this, let me know and I will do a, another whole video on shopping, clearance shopping, everything, period, about, um, you know, tips, tricks, clearance, my do's and don'ts, anything like that, because I love clearance shopping. I will not pay full price for nothing unless I have to. Um, but again, I hope you guys like this video. Please like, please subscribe, please share, tag your friends. Tag your friends. Can you tag on here? I don't think you can tag on here, but please comment and let me know. And again, if you do want to see a video just on clearance shopping or tips and tricks, please let me know. You guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!